what's up guys welcome back to the vlog i feel like i'm always vlogging in jack's truck and i'm really sorry for that but this is just the time where i'm just sitting with my phone in my hand and i'm idle and ready to talk so here it is we are in the car we are on the way to the mall because we are impulsively getting a quick little massage there's this like one random stand store thing in the mall and jack's done it before i think i vlogged it last time um but it's like 30 bucks or something it's like real cheap right how much did you pay for it i don't remember you don't remember okay well please hold we'll let you know here soon but anyways that's our little impulse thing after going to the gym this morning we've had quite the day we went grocery shopping we went to west point because west point had this um like post-wide yard sale they do it twice a year they always do it when pcs season is happening so if you're not in like the military don't know what pcs means basically like when people get their new assignment they're heading elsewhere going to a different base we kind of have change of station permanent change of station there you go pcs season so Again, we are very fortunate to not have to move like most others do in the military. So we're kind of stationary here for a hot minute. Um, but anyway, so they do these, they do the yard sale and we were just bopping around, got our steps in. We, I've already walked like 7,000 steps today. And then we did a leg workout this morning, or I did my leg workout this morning. I actually don't even know what Jack did. Um, so legs. Le you did do legs. Yeah. <laughs> Also, guys, please let me know, comment below if you agree with me, that Jack should shave his mustache. Take your hand down. You have to show them. No. It's, it's so not It's not finished yet. It's in the production phase. It's so bad. So I told Jack, because you know he really wants a PS5. I was like, if I buy you a PS5, you can't grow a mustache for five years. Like one year for every number on the after the PS. And so clearly I did not buy him a PS5 yet because his mustache is there. She said, she said, uh, I'll buy half of it. And I was like, I'll shave half my mustache. <laughs> what if I buy the, buy you the AirPods though? Would you do it for two years? Not, sh not do that because the AirPods are like almost $200. Is that not a fair trade? So Jack's AirPods are like very broken. And one of our friends just texted us. Oh yeah, I don't even. I thought I saw one of them in here. No, I thought like there was. Oh, is that a? That's the uh, the wire pods. Oh, the, uh, the wire pods. The ground pods. <laughs> so, um, anyways, AirPods are randomly on sale at at a uh, Target right now. One of our friends sent it to us, and they were like, "Hey, I remember Jack saying he needs AirPods." Blah blah blah. They're one eighty nine. They're usually like two forty nine. So we're going to the mall and this mall has a target in it very random so uh, i was like oh well, maybe we'll go look at them maybe we'll pick it up because it'll be a good deal and like he needs some airpods so i say if i pick up those airpods for you you get to not have that for two years because it's <laughs> it's for it's... the quantity of the dollar no <laughs> um it's again it's in its production phase and unfortunately it's not, it's not as pretty of a cookie duster as it's going to be. A cookie duster. But. Yikes. But it's, it's going to grow. And it's going to look really good in uniform. And, you know, I'm just going to have it for a little while. And then I'll shave it. I don't love that. But it's okay. We'll make it through, I guess. What did you say to me the other day? I'm not the boss of Jack Bounds. I said you're not my direct superior or yeah so i'm not, not his you're not the director of jack bounds i, I beg to differ all right they have some specials this is what it looks like it's literally like outside of macy's this man wants to do 70 minutes right. i just because it's so long to be at the massage place for 70 minutes for 50 dollars oh my goodness why can't we just do like the 10 dollar foot massage one Oh. We're literally doing the 70 minute one. <laughs> Y'all, I feel like discombobulated. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> yeah, we had our heads in a massage table for a long time. Yeah, uh, my arm fell asleep. <laughs> I'll say there's a reason it costs more to go somewhere that's like not in a mall. Yeah, because, like, like massage heard, like, envy. Kids screaming and like. Yeah, I don't know. That was know. interesting. We'll recap more in the car. Okay, going back to this massage we got definitely was not like we were just talking about it we think it, it almost felt like they were making it up as they went 
and I, I, I just think like Jack has given me equivalent massages with like obviously he has no massage training. I'm not trying to be demeaning or anything but yeah it just wasn't all that. Like I guess that's what you get for 50 bucks so now we are starving. It's 7 30. We oh we try to go get his AirPods okay. We go to Target. We ask the nice employee and they're like yeah there's one left and then he looks in the back and he's like yeah there's, there's none left. So Sale ends today, so by the time you watch this, no, those AirPods will not be $189, but I think we're gonna try to order them when we get home. We did luck out at Hollister, so random. We were in there, they had so many good sales. Jack was buying, he bought a pair of shorts for like 11 bucks, a shirt for seven bucks. So we got this, we got like a giant bag. I found um, a nice like hoodie, or not a hoodie, like a, like a fleece. I'll show you guys when I get home. And it was $33, love that. This is the time, right now, you go get all your winter stuff because it's gonna be on sale. Home from the mall, went to this new store, maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. It's, it's called... not even Gilly Hicks, it's Hollister. Oh wait, what is this? I don't know why they gave us that bag. Oh, oh yeah. it's like part of their brand. Oh, there Hollister. we go. Um, We're showing you guys our bargains and our deals. Yeah. Jack's doing the unboxing. As Unboxing, we paid for all this, but yeah, anyways. Got a extra large t-shirt for me on clearance, forget about it. It was like, forget about it. It was like nine bucks, not even. This one's Jenna's. She got it because it says New York. Isn't that cute? She it's so cute. I don't she know didn't what- didn't read the rest of the shirt. I really didn't. I literally saw the word New York and uh, that's why I bought it. It was very cheap, so. What if it said like, no. <laughs> It's fine. It's a sleep shirt or like a beach shirt. It'll be fine. Next is me. Got some, uh, they're called hybrid shorts. Oh, wait, I'm holding backwards on clearance. On clearance. We only shop on clearance. 40% off. Five inch inseam, skies out, thighs out. Two colors. Um, save that for last. Okay, this. guys, this is my favorite one. Look at this. Look at this coat. I'm going to try it on in a second. Hold it up. See if it fits you. I I could have probably got the medium, but they only had a large, and I was like, it's fine. It'll probably fit you because it's big. See the cropped on you. <laughs> Ooh, honey, looking good. No, I'm not good. Look at this. <laughs> but isn't it comfy? Like, yeah, I just, I want it. I love, like, the this material. I'm holding the light, y'all. Don't even, don't at me right now. But, oh, it's so nice. So that's our haul. Oh. And then we went to Target. We got two more things. Some, uh, Hugh. Uh, back Hugh. to Hugh. Hugh. Get back to human. I mean, it's Hugh, yeah. Human, dark chocolate. I just like that it said no to all those things on there. Vegan, paleo, not that we're that, but you know, no sugar, refined sugar, cane sugars, alcohols, all. I've never tried this brand, but it was pretty cheap. And um, I don't know, I saw vanilla, cashew butter. We said absolutely. That's going to be our snack tonight. 70% cacao. Yeah, 70% so. cacao. So guys, that's our haul. So this is the coat we love. Yeah, I probably could have done the medium, but again, this is all we had on the clearance rack. So, you know, it is what it is. Like I could have, if like I saw a small, I probably would have got it. If I saw a medium, would have got it. If I saw the large, we got it. But it's cute, it's comfy, it's looking like a nice pillow, all on sale. Okay, this is the receipt, a whopping $72 for all these things, I'm so happy. We also did get the military discount, so I don't really know what this would have been without the military discount, but yeah, 72 bucks for all of this stuff, amazing. Hi, good morning, it's Sunday. It's probably a little windy, so I won't be on too long when I vlog this, but we just did a nice workout, Sunday morning workout. We went at like seven, no, eight. We went at eight, we left our house at 7.40ish, and it is a game changer going to the gym on a Sunday morning when it's like a little on the earlier side. Okay, I found a bench in like a second. I've been struggling so much at my gym to find a bench. So I went early, got a great workout in, and now we're at the track. Well, not really like a track, but like this nice little park. It's a wonderful day out. We're getting our steps in. Jack's running. I'm not running, but I did a nice upper body workout. Now I'm just gonna try to get, I'm trying to get like to between seven to 10,000 steps a day. And I was doing really well until I hurt my ankle. But today is like truly the first day my ankle feels 
back to normal and I'm definitely not trying to do too much. I, like again, I did an upper body day and then now I'm just nicely walking at, like I can talk to you and walk so we're at a fine pace. And then I'll probably still go home and ice it and elevate. I've been elevating it every night. I've been icing it like, mm, if I'm being honest, like every other day, the ice is not my favorite. Jack tries to get me to do it like twice a day sometimes and I'm like, uh-uh, it's too much. Also happening today, Jack has a friend coming into town. It's like one of his high school or like childhood best friends who randomly lives in New Jersey now. So he's coming to visit us. Jack and him had met in the city a couple weeks ago. I probably vlogged, I talked about it on the vlog probably. Um, so now he's coming to see us and we're gonna show him around the Hudson Valley. I'm probably gonna let the boys do their thing. And then I think we're cooking him dinner or something like that. Like we're gonna cook at home because we've been trying to be really good. So at least I can still eat my normal food and not, I'm, try, I'm just really trying to not eat out. It's just like we bought so much stuff and we're eating in such a particular way right now. And I'll talk more about that when I get home because I feel like it just might be windy right now, but it was just too nice to not hop on the vlog and say good morning, say hello, and show y'all a little bit of our morning walk. I wonder where Jack. Oh, he's like literally on the opposite side of me. He's like over there. Also real quick, I'm just so happy. I'm starting to see flowers again. Like, look how pretty. This probably for some doesn't mean much, but for me, like, just dealing with a New York winter and having everything just be like on the dead side to now seeing pretty flowers is everything. Okay, folks, real quick, I'm just giving a shout to my absolute favorite perfume. You can see how much I've used already. I think I vlogged it when I first got it, but the Dime 7 Summers is so good and I'm sharing it because they have a promo going on right now for Mother's Day. Um, if you use my code jenna.md, I'll have it linked in the description box below, you'll get 25% off. Usually my discount code's 20% off, it's just the code jenna. But if you're thinking about getting it, now would be the time to try it because the discount code is even more than usual. I wish you guys could smell this through YouTube, but I constantly get people asking me like, what are you wearing? It smells so good, it's very warm, it's very summery, I'm obsessed. Okay, before I eat it, I thought I'd share my lunch for the day, Sunday slash the week. This is what Jack and I have prepped all last week and now I'm gonna have some again this week just because it's so good. Um, this is just ground chicken and then he put like celery and carrots and onions and garlic and all that, like cooked that together. And then we did, um, at the end, we grill some green peppers, some more onions, and this is just like one little rice cup. It equates to one cup of rice. And then this is just like a salad with balsamic, a little bit of olive oil, and then my new favorite seasoning, it's this dash seasoning. This is the seasoning I'm talking about. This is amazing, and the ingredients are just really, really good. So yeah, I'll let you guys just read that on your own, but anything like dash, Mrs. Dash, whatever it is, Get it. Okay, so I just ate lunch, 2.45 now. Jack and his friend are like touring West Point, doing all the things, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stay home, have a nice Sunday. It is gorgeous out, and I'm so glad I like woke up early, had a very productive Sunday morning, and already got my steps in outside, did all the things, because now I can just like bum with a sweater. You know, I did my hair because I've, I've been trying to do like, do my hair, like curl it on Sundays before work. So that way in the morning I just wake up because now I'm waking up at 6 a.m. to get to work, like to get ready for work. I don't leave at six. Um, and so, I don't know, I'm just trying to like be productive and like not have very long morning things that I have to do, like doing my hair or doing, like now instead of doing my hair and makeup, I just have to do my makeup. And I don't really do that much, but you know what I mean. So my hair is curled, no makeup on, I have a little lip balm on and we're just, lounging it's a great day jack and his friend are on their way back now and then i think we're gonna go walk around like downtown cold spring so i'm gonna bring oakley we're gonna get outside but during this time i was able to clean up i so i vacuumed i mopped i did two loads of laundry um what else did i do i prepped all the salads for the week and then i just, like you just saw what i ate so that little salad thing i put those in tupperwares to take to work so i have up through wednesday prepped i like to prep kind of now half the week and then the back half of the week simply because it just tastes fresher and so yeah like by friday i don't like that like five, day five warm-up feeling you know what i mean can you can you guys relate you know what i'm talking about so anyways 
I wanted to chat with you guys since I just showed you guys my my food and I, and I kind of touched on it a little bit earlier, but like, yeah, we're trying to eat really healthy. I'm back with my health coach. If you guys remember way back when, really far down on this channel, I'll pop the little thumbnail here. I did a whole interview kind of, it was like almost like a TV interview <laughs> pretty much with my health coach, Ashley Dwyer and her company. Well, she runs the company and then she, like there's health coaches under her. And so I work with a coach under her anyways. So I'm back with my coach. I'm so, so excited because this is something I've been waiting to do and get back on track. And not even that like I was very off track. Like you guys see what I eat. I'm prepping a lot of food, but I know when I'm not counting my macros or having someone hold me accountable, it is very difficult for me to just see results, see progress. Like I have very much just stayed the same and I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah, I wanna lose a little bit of weight before the wedding. Like. I want to feel my best self and I just know like getting back to it and really sticking through, you know, for this whole year and really taking notes. Like I, the last time I did this, I just like did what they said. I didn't write in a journal or like put it in my notes, like all the changes in my macros. And again, macros is what's work is what works for me. It is not what works for everyone else. By no means am I a health coach. By no means am I telling y'all to like go sign up with my coach or anything like that. Like you guys do you. I'm just sharing what works for me. And so, um, yeah, I, this is week two of it. I've already, I'm already down four pounds and yeah, I'm just, I'm happy. I'm feeling good. I just like that feeling knowing that like what I'm doing works and having someone just tell me like, okay, these are the numbers you want to try to hit. Um, here. And then like this time I'm also doing like the workouts. Cause I, I've told you guys, like I have really struggled with this gym here, just A, like I'm not the type of person that can just walk into a gym and know like what, like pick up this, do this, do that, do that. And like, I'm just so tired of like scrolling on TikTok or finding like social media influencers that like post their workouts. Like, again, it's not one size fit all. What works for them doesn't work for me. And so I just want someone who can like put things on a list for me and tell me, okay, go do this. Like I'm confident enough to like, if you tell me what to do, like I can go do that. I don't need like a trainer or anything like that. But you know, it's not like I have burn boot camp here where, you know, the workouts were 45 minutes, you walk in, you do your thing, you leave. And so I just really felt that I needed some guidance. I just, I struggle putting together workouts and workouts that I know I'm going to continue to grow with. I'm logging the weights I'm picking up and it's the same exercises again the next week and then trying to push myself and really just knowing that there's a plan. I think having a plan really helps me. I'm kind of type A if you can't already tell. So yeah, this is the end of week two. Um, I'm feeling really good. I've been going to the gym three times a week lifting weights and then trying to hit anywhere from seven to ten thousand steps every single day again i had that little hiccup with my ankle and i had talked with my coach about it and so she knew and she was like yeah don't hurt yourself or anything like that but yeah like i i'm just really happy with my decision on getting back on track investing in myself investing in us and jack is like eating similar to me too i mean it, it it makes sense for us to eat the same meals because we're going to the store and buying all that so like he's been eating pretty much everything i've been eating except subbing out chicken for fish um because i don't eat fish but if you guys want to learn more about like why i picked a, working with a coach some of the results i found i did this back a couple years ago in cincinnati um i have like a whole vlog up on this so i'll link it in the description box below you guys just saw the thumbnail okay pivoting from <laughs> the health coach stuff and the healthy eating and all the things if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments below happy to answer them. Um, I really want to show you guys a bridesmaid proposal reaction that I got. Okay. It's the best one. It takes the cake. I wasn't really able to film these reactions because a lot of them were mailed, but I'm just going to get right into it. All right. Hi everyone. I'm going to do an unboxing from one of my best friends, Jenna. This mysterious box arrived in the mail today and I thought what a great time to open it up and to sit here with all of you guys and to talk about what I think is going to be in the box. I think it has something to do with the wedding. Uh, maybe it is my uh, best man invitation. Ooh, it's ice cream. Babe. Oh! Look at this. This is so cute. 
cute. Uh, of course, Jenna. I would love to. Ooh, hell yeah. Oh, so we have um some lip balm here. Some balm for my babies. And then we have some Bath and Body Works soap that smells amazing. And then we have this photo of Jenna and I at Fort Lauderdale Beach. And then we have this cute little nifty hat. And then on the top, it says, babe, will you be my bride's man? Bride's man? <gasps> Did you have this custom made? Oh my God. That's wild. That is wild. I love it. Yes, absolutely. So yes, as you guys just saw, as you guys know, David is going to be a groomsman. I am so excited. He is just one of my absolute best friends and I kind of went back and forth on it like really early on like when I was back in Florida and vlogged with him and Veronica about should he be a bridesman blah 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 and then it, it was just really an easy decision like he is truly one of my best friends in the entire world so of course he has to be up there with us. He is just going to wear what the groomsmen are wearing just that tux and then he's going to be walking in with Veronica because the, they just represent my college UF chapter go Gators. Oh, I'm wearing a Florida shirt. Perfect. University of Florida. Very on brand right now. Didn't even try to do that. But yeah, I thought that it would be so fun to have him up there. I think he's going to be such a mood booster. Like all of my friends, all of my family love David. So I'm so pumped. And his reaction to that video, when I tell you, Jack and I were dying. We, we watched that video and we were cracking up. And David actually sent that video to me, him, Veronica, and our little group chat. And we were, we were all just cracking up. It's just so funny. So yeah, it's starting to feel real because I finally got all my bridesmaid boxes out. Jack asked all the groomsmen to be groomsmen. So everyone who's in the wedding party knows. We just finalized our save the date. We went with Minted. Um, it was a bit, it was kind of expensive, not gonna lie. We, so even with the little coupon I had, we ended up spending like $300, but we ordered 130. So we have a hundred and I, I think I ordered like 20 more. I don't know why I did that. I was just nervous. I was like, what if I need an extra one? Or what if I want a picture of one of them? I don't know. I just, I bought 130 and then, you know, when you just like look at something for so long, I just kept doing this and clicking things and changing the photos and changing the wording. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm just gonna, I'm just, we're just doing it. We're clicking by. So yeah, that was that. I know I probably could have DIY'd them a little cheaper and done them a little cheaper, but the deed is done. We bought them through Minted. It's fine. I'm excited. I'll show you guys when I get them. I should have ordered like a sample one without all of our info on it so I can like put it on YouTube. So maybe I'll do that with the wedding. I'll do that with the wedding invitation. So bear with me as I like put my finger or something on it because I just better safe than sorry. For the wedding invites, I'm already like thinking of what I want. I've seen such cute like vellum overlays and I really, really want to do that. I know I want to put like a little bow or like a wax seal. There's so many different things, but if you guys have any tips, let me know because I don't necessarily have to get them through Minted this next round, but we have our wedding website on Minted and then why I, why I love Minted was because they had that address assist thing. So instead of asking everyone for their address, we just sent them a little like text message code and they click on it and then you upload your address and then it's all in there. I'm sure there are other companies. I don't, I don't know. I just kind of went with Minted because of that very reason. And it was just nice. Like it's gonna be printed on the envelope pop a stamp on and boom, that's it. Like I'm not trying to write everyone's address, nor am I going to have anyone send things back like the RSVP card date. I know it's very elegant and classic, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just not gonna do that. People are just gonna have to like scan the QR code, get onto the website, click the RSV. You know what I'm talking about? That that That's how it's gonna go. But <sighs> I'm excited. I've, it's starting to feel really real and I'm kind of going back and forth on doing a bachelorette party. I feel like, the more I like think about it, the more I now want it. Like I was very earlier on, I was kind of like, eh, whatever, I don't really need it. But I kind of want to do like, just something like very me, you know, me, I, I don't, we wouldn't go anywhere crazy. It would just be probably Florida. Like I just want to spend the day with my girls on the beach, you know, maybe do like a workout class and then go out just like one night, but call like early night, you know, I'm not trying to go crazy or anything. 
and just have that tropical Florida-esque thing. Like that is just my vibe. So any brides on here, let me know. Do you regret doing your bachelorette party? Do you regret not doing a bachelorette party? Please let me know in the comments because I am torn. I really don't know what to do. All right, folks, that's it for today's vlog. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching it all the way through. If you're not already, please hit that subscribe button down below and I will catch you guys next Wednesday. Bye.